Hi, I'm Kristen Wegner, and I'm going to talk to you today about Climate Voices, a program here at UCAR. A recent survey from the Pew Research Center finds that more than half, 61% of Americans believe that the Earth is warming. But less than half, only 40%, believe that climate change is our threat to our country and that it's caused by humans, even though it will have major impacts nationwide. So how do we increase the public's awareness of these imminent threats and discuss possible solutions? Scientific lectures alone are not effective ways to communicate climate change research and assessments, such as the IPCC and the National Climate Assessment. Instead, Climate Voices was established to, um, through a collaboration between the United Nations Foundation and UCAR last year to help bridge the gap between climate science and the general public through nonpartisan conversations so that the general public can ask questions and engage in conversations about adaptation and solutions to this immense challenge. Today, we have over 360 speakers in our network. You can see this is our website, um, the interactive map. The blue dots are where we have our speakers. Um, they engage with their fellow citizens in conversations about climate change. They meet with public audiences, such as rotary groups, schools, churches, and other groups. Um, community members can interact with our website and type in geographic areas or other areas of expertise, and they come up with a profile for each of our speakers. You can see this is Heather Lazarus. She's an NCAR scientist. Um, our hope is that scientists engage with the community groups as citizen scientists, that they um, do not necessarily present lectures but rather engage in conversations in an authentic and meaningful way. We got our speakers to present climate science in, as it's simple, serious, and solvable. Simple. It's basic physics that's been known for hundreds of years. This is not something new. This is not something from the media. Um, and so we hope that we can convince the general public that it's simple. Um, here's a slide deck that shows some of the resources that we provide to convey this message to the general public. Um, it's easy for the public to underestimate the impacts of the changes, and we want scientists to emphasize how serious a change like two degrees Celsius can be to our lifestyle as well to the local areas, especially um, for scientists to convey the impacts to the local areas. Um, we have videos about floods and different resources that we um, encourage them to, to use. Um, we can't just provide the doom and gloom to community groups. We also have to leave them for an inspiration and hope, and hope that they engage in conversations about solutions. Um, we encourage our speakers to do that in an authentic way, either talking about examples from their com local community or their kids' school or local um, and regional international policy, um, as well as discuss business opportunities and new um, renewable energies and technologies that really excite them um, as, a, as an individual. Um, some speakers may include um, some of our websites that we also have. On our website, we curate a lot of different resources, and we provide access to Climate Nexus, Climate Central, other organizations here at UCAR. We have Comets, MedEd modules up here also. Um, and we expect them to, to be able to find that. Um, we also have prominent webinar and coaching sessions. Last year, we had Catherine Hayhoe here that talked about um, connecting climate science through your head and heart. And just last week, we had Richard Alley in town that talked about climate communication by providing hope. We also partner with large organizations on a nationwide level. Um, we provide climate communication conferences and workshops with AAAS. Some of our speakers have been invited to present at the International Cotton Association and Rotary Club's um, district conferences. Um, next week for Earth Day, we'll have invite a scientist to service day. So more than 70 congregations around the country will have climate scientists meet with them to discuss their personal area of research as well as at, um, engage in conversations around adaptation. Um, we also work with different um, media campaigns that are engaging climate science in different formats. This is a More Than Scientist video campaign um, where some of our speakers pr provided videos of them singing songs in the classroom or riding their bikes down the road and talking about science. As well as This Is How You Feel a uh, letter writing campaign. This is an NCAR scientist that wrote a handwritten letter. Um, each scientist were encouraged to write handwritten letters about how they feel about their research as well as climate change. Um, to really get the authentic part out. Um, we hope that you will engage with our community either by signing up to become a speaker, by clicking on become a speaker and filling out your own profile, or also finding a speaker in your area to find people to collaborate with or other people um, to communicate with about climate science. Um, again, we have over 360 speakers, and we hope that you are engaged with our community. Thank you.